Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mike with Infinity Personal Training and today is another Technique Tuesday. Today I'm going to be going over the reverse crunch. This is a great way to strengthen our abs, especially those lower abs. And this is a great way to get into those abs without um, stressing that low back. Um, so that's why I want to make sure you're doing it right so we don't stress that low back and we get all the great benefits um, from this exercise. So starting out in that reverse crunch, we're gonna need something um, to anchor us down, whether you're using like a pole or a heavier dumbbell or even like a medicine ball. You're gonna put that just behind your head. We're gonna lay down here. And we wanna make sure when we reach back, we have a slight bend in our elbows and we're not reaching out real locked out there. So our head's rested on the ground. We're grabbing onto our anchor here. And then we wanna start with our knees right on top of those hips. A lot of people sometimes will start down here and we get that rib cage flaring up and our low back coming up off the ground. That's gonna put uh, pressure on that low back. We want the tension on the abs, so we're gonna tilt our hips back, bring our knees right on top of those hips. Then from here, I'm gonna drive my knees into my elbows, keeping my low back in the ground, crunch, and then nice and in control, I'm rolling my spine along the ground and not just letting it go out and keeping that curve in my back in the air there. So starting point, remember knees right on the hips. Our hips are tilted back so our low back's in the ground. We want to go nice and in control, not trying to rush this, crunch it in, nice and in control, keeping tension on those abs. And then the, if we want to make it a little bit harder, we can push those knees out in front of the hips without letting our low back come off the ground. And then we'll just crunch back in, big breath out as you go out, keeping those abs real nice and tight, okay? So uh, focus on not rocking back or using your leg momentum to crunch in. Uh, keep the low back in the ground the whole time. And again, if you wanna make it a little bit more advanced, kick those feet out a little bit farther, but don't go too far to where that low back comes off the ground. All right, so I look forward to seeing a lot of radical reverse crunches around the studio. Uh, it's Mike with another Technique Tuesday. I'll see you guys soon.